So the SARS program, what makes it unique uh, in particular is that it's the only program as far as we know in the state of Ohio that is specifically geared towards persons with schizophrenia spectrum disorders um, in an outpatient setting such as our own. What makes it unique um, is that we here at the centers um, have dedicated an entire team to this. Um, oftentimes, uh, coordinated specialty care programs across the state, they'll take a, a, you know, a, a therapist and put part of their time into a first program, a, a doctor, you know, part of their time into it. So it's kind of piecemeal together, which is fine and it, and it can work that way, but we wanted to take it a step further. We wanted to create a team that's sole purpose was to provide these services into the community, that this is their focus, this is what we're tasking them with, and that we wanted to make sure that they had the best training around those evidence-based practices to uh, make a difference. The idea behind FIRST is that if you can influence that person's trajectory early on, they're gonna be much more likely to um, obtain their, their vocational goals, their educational goals, their social goals, be a part of the community, well, it's wraparound care, but it's also based on the most recent, right, scientific recommendations. So it's not that I've been, you know, practicing and just have my three medicines that I'm that I'm comfortable with and familiar with. And I don't treat people based on how I feel. I treat people based on what the data supports. Right after their initial episode of psychosis, when they've been into the hospital and had some degree of stabilization, they really do require specialized care on an outpatient basis. And now all of our colleagues that are working in inpatient psychiatry um, are aware and are making active referrals to our program. In contact, talking about treatment plans and talking about ways to help our clients to meet their needs. Um, and this is on a weekly basis, and I feel like that helps us as a team build together to make sure we give our clients what they need. First, in general, uh, what makes it really unique and what really stood out to me was the focus on recovery. There's not really a lot of talk about um, uh, disability or not being able to in this. It, uh, it's, it's contraindicated. It's not what we want to do. Um, our main purpose is to work with these adolescents and young adults and help them get back on track uh, in their life and whatever that looks like to them. Through the STARS program, we do have uh, family psychoeducation programming. Uh, this is a, a chance for the family and their uh, loved one um, to come together and learn about what psychosis is, what uh, schizophrenia is, if that's an appropriate diagnosis for them, um, to talk through how to communicate, how to better support each other, um, what to do if there is a crisis, do some of that crisis planning ahead of time. Um, a lot of folks really don't know what uh, psychosis is. It's very scary. I think there's a lot of stigma attached to that. Um, and so these um, family psychoeducation groups is, is meant to help um, kind of demystify a little bit, uh, to provide hope to the families that their, their loved one can um, uh, move forward and recover. So this program is unique in the way that we are able to, you know, reach the community very different than traditional outpatient where you just come in and you kind of meet with your providers. We're able to kind of like go to them and that could be at their home, that could be at a coffee shop, that could be wherever they are. Um, and I think that's unique because sometimes we don't have the means to kind of come into a brick and mortar facility. So being able to meet them where they are, especially when they're struggling through so much, is like monumental. Um, I think that um, it makes it completely unique in, in the way we're able to just like provide those resources, not only just with, you know, counseling, but psychiatry, all of our service lines, we're able to kind of be flexible. Um, so I think that's what makes it unique. And I think that we're able to offer very specialized and targeted support to these people. Um, and so I think that is really what makes us stand out. I think that there is a lot of anxiety that comes with getting any diagnosis, um, but especially one as stigmatized as uh, psychosis. Our team is very diverse. Um, we do have a lot of representation. So I think that aids in our ability to, to notice that there's a cultural difference and be more competent when we are making these decisions and making these diagnoses. We have a lower caseload than a lot of other treatment programs because we're so specialized. 
Um, and so that's a big benefit. But if somebody has something urgent that for whatever reason, if their caseworker or if their psychiatrist is just not available, um, they're able to go to the urgent care and talk to someone right then and there. So that way they don't have to wait until their next appointment or wait to be called back. One of the most, I think one of the most critical parts is that they have intentionally created a team of truly of experts, an expert clinician, but I can see that the case management team and the therapists are all um, well-trained in understanding individuals with schi that are suffering from schizophrenia. And I think that is huge. Um, I think it is one of the reasons why my daughter has been able to connect with the team so well is they know how to draw information out of her. I think this program may have saved my son's life. And we might have had him with us today if he could have had this kind of service as he graduated from high school. So I am very hopeful and grateful that this program is now helping my daughter in a recovery um, from this illness or learning to live with this illness in a healthy way. Any way you present to us is the right way. Ours has so many services and I love the idea that you don't have to partake in all of them. Um, there's no wrong door if you have schizophrenia and you are um, in need of services. I think at the centers in general there's no wrong door. Um, and so whichever door you come through is the right way and will get you where you need.